Rounding to the nearest negative integer is very similar than positive. We just have to subtract 0.5 instead of adding 0.5 and then cast to an integer. So I do have a, uh, another video where I've taught w the program that, or the class that's sitting on the screen right now where I round it to the nearest positive integer. And now I'm bas basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it and talk about rounding to the nearest negative integer. And so for this case, I'm going to change my out uh, my um, variables here to be negative numbers. So I have b and c, which are negative numbers. And instead of adding 0.5, and we have to talk about what that would do if I added 0.5. See, if I'm going to be dealing with negative numbers here, like the negative 2.3, I'm going to change this comment, these comments down here. If I were to start with negative 2.3 and I were to add 2.5, or if I were to add 0.5, let's think about that for a moment. Now, uh, that would actually turn this into a negative 1.8. And when I cast this as, if I were to cast this as an integer, negative 1.8, remember what that does. That drops all decimals, so that would turn that into a negative 1. Now, that's an issue. Negative 2.3 does not cast, or does not round into negative 1. Negative 2.3 rounded to the nearest integer should be a negative 2. Now the issue is I've gone the wrong direction, because when you talk about negatives, you would want to travel the other direction. Uh, you don't want to travel to the right or to the left. It, it, it's the opposite. Just think of it as the opposite. So in this case, when I want to cast, instead of adding, I want to subtract. So when you're dealing with negatives, you don't want to add, you want to subtract, because then this would become a negative 2.8. A negative 2.3 minus 0.5 is negative 2.8. And then when we cast that negative 2.8 into an integer, we get negative 2. And that's exactly what I'm looking for if I'm trying to round this negative 2.3 to the closest integer. Now let's take the c value, that negative 5.9 as an example, negative 5.9. And again, this is a negative integer, so I will want to subtract 0.5. And if I subtract 0.5, I get negative 6.4. Now notice I surpassed the negative 6. I have jumped into the 6s, if you will. And so if I cast as an integer that negative 6.4, then it drops the 0.4, because that's what casting does, drops, cast to an integer, drops the decimal. This will round to negative 6, which is exactly what this c value should round to here, is to negative 6. So if we have negatives and we're going to round, then we simply need to remember to subtract 0.5 instead of add 0.5. Okay, so first, instead of adding, we'll subtract, and then we'll cast as an integer after that. Uh, and that would take care of our problem. So it, it's very important to realize if you're rounding to uh, if you're rounding to the nearest positive integer, you would add 0.5. You're in the positive, so add. If you're rounding to the nearest negative integer, you would have to subtract. You're negative, so you will subtract. That's the basic idea. Now if you're writing a program and you your numbers might sometimes be positive and sometimes might be negative, then you're going to have to test it. You're going to have to do something like, if your variable is positive, then add the 0.5 and do it. If the variable is negative, subtract the 0.5 and do it. And if it's 0, you could just output 0. Uh, so there's your basic understanding of how to round negative integers. There's another video on positives if you'd like to see uh, other work on that.